Use the debug option in your inspector to see the value of private fields. Here you can see I have a private boolean that is toggling on and off. To hide fields from your inspector, use system.nonserialized instead of hide an inspector to ensure that the value cannot accidentally be written to disk. Note that doing this does hide the value from the debug in the inspector as well. When running loops and curatines, it's often best to cache the yield statements. Common ones such as wait for seconds, wait for fixed update, and wait for end of frame can be cached and then reused as a yield return. This prevents garbage collection. Keep in mind, wait for seconds real time does not work properly with this technique. You can make it easier to find important objects in your scene by giving them icons and then labeling them. I have game object selected. I'm going to give it a blue icon, although you have multiple options and you can even specify your own icon and then giving it a name, example. Note that when I click other objects in the scene, the icon still shows. You can expand or collapse entire hierarchy trees by holding Alt and clicking the arrow left of the object. You can quickly align objects in your level by navigating to where you want the object to be, selecting the object you want to align, in this case I'm going to select the camera, and then go to Game Object, Align with View.